today we're going to see how to make a thumb spike a splint. Starting with the pattern, we're going to mark the distal palmar crease, then we're going to mark the IP joint of the thumb, and then we're going to trace a line down the length of the forearm, two-thirds the length of the forearm, being sure to slightly angle the pen outward to create enough width for the splint. Once we have our landmarks, we're going to connect the dots to make our completed pattern. Here you can see the completed pattern for a forearm-based thumb spike a splint. Before tracing your pattern onto the splinting material, check the appropriate fit on your patient using the pattern. Make sure that the IP joint of the thumb is free to move and that the distal palmar crease is clear. For greater ease with molding the splint, place your patient in a palm up position. This will allow gravity to assist. First mold the part around the thumb, closing the crease and pressing securely. Then you're going to roll down the edge of the material to clear the distal palm or crease. Use this time to smooth the material along the length of the forearm. Ensure that the patient is able to oppose the thumb loosely to the index finger. Rotate the thumb around to create space for the metacarpal and the IP joint to slip in and out of the splint easily. We can see here the splint is a little bit longer than two-thirds the length of the forearm, so we're going to trim that. Once hardened, we're going to just check one more time for clearance of the IP joint of the thumb, also making sure the patient's in a comfortable and functional position of thumb abduction, making sure they can touch at least the index finger, and that will ensure greater ease with functional activity while wearing the splint. Next, we're going to apply the Velcro straps. We want to have one strap around the wrist crease, one strap proximal to the wrist crease, and the last one securing around the back of the hand. Thanks for tuning in to this instructional video on how to fabricate a forearm-based thumb spike of splint. The material you see in this video is a lightweight material that could be helpful for diagnoses such as repetitive strain injuries or a severe case of CMC joint arthritis. For post-operative cases or post-fracture cases, you would want to use a thicker material that would provide a little more stability and immobilization.